He's using hydro powered internet. <laughs> uh, yeah, he has he hasn't he hasn't upgraded to the Gen two gerbils yet. So yeah, yeah. he is not. I know gerbils, gerbils aren't well fed. They're very frail, yeah. not energetic. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. So so what's up, y'all? What's the word? Yeah. Oh, this is we're just still watching New Girl. So don't no spoilers, please. <laughs> Wait, you haven't. So you haven't you haven't seen all of it. No, yeah. not yet. <clears throat> I have been binge watching like crazy because it's always been on, oh my God, I really want to see that show, but I've always had something else going on. Mm-hmm. And I've been, I what season am I up to now? Mm. Oh. Now I think you're up to either three or four, Erin, I think. Yeah, I binge watched a heap the other day. But you're doing you're, but no. you're, for a while. She was doing like 13, 14 episodes a day. <laughs> yes, you heard that correctly, Lamorne. <laughs> you know, I have to. I have to drown. I have to. I have to drown out Paw Patrol and all the other crazy kids things in some way. I can't mm. listen to that all day by myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. true. Oh yeah, Paw Patrol. And it's yeah. more more or less okay with kids about it. like. It's not like you. Mm. I have okay. headphone on. Had one ear in so. Yeah, you know, I tried the headphones thing with my daughter. I was trying to sleep train my daughter. Um, at trying. It did not work. Um, I think I tried too late. I started and she's one. She's she's one and also an additional month. So uh, trying at the age of one is no bueno, apparently. Uh, she has yeah. her opinions, her thoughts, her aggression. Uh, she started biting through her crib. I said, oh, gosh. This doesn't make any sense. I feel like I'm a terrible parent because every every morning oh. I wake up, she's got paint in her mouth. No, um, parents, what um, one of mine did that actually? Yes, really. I've they're on my in-laws' um, dining table. There is actually teeth grooves in on the table where she thought when she just got tall enough, she goes, "I'm going to bite the table," and she did and put grooves in there. Yep. Yeah, those, those little baby teeth are so strong. Yeah, so so strong. Have you ever um, woken up and you've just gone in and her crib's full of poo? Oh no! I, yeah, I put a diaper on her. <laughs> yeah, that's di- fun. Yeah, so you just you just let your kids just, just deuce everywhere. No, they didn't. Oh, wait till they learn how to take it off themselves. You've got oh. that to look forward to. No, I'm trying to potty train her now. She's only one, but I'm I'm just just guiding her. Right? <laughs> please, please. She can we don't want to go on. down that road. We're gonna yeah. go down the potty road. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the hardest part though is when you are changing her after she dropped a deuce is she wants to get so active right in that moment and you're like okay this is now I got shit everywhere it's, it's, yep. in, my, it's in my nails it's in yep. my beard I don't know how it got in my beard uh, <laughs> you get one of those power wash and you just power wash them off like, I know nope, this is happening just this turn is it. <laughs> oh my gosh yeah. oh the joys of parenthood oh yeah. isn't it lovely just pick yeah. them up put the pot <laughs> in the toilet flush mm-hmm. helps a good one. <laughs> you know what i was thinking because like the filter in my I so i i i put a, a like a what do you call it a water softener filter in the house or the water is and so the guy was like you know i can i can throw some i can throw a, 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 another filtration in there for free i was like oh what does it do he goes Every water, every place water comes out, every faucet is filtered drinking water. It's like, oh, so I could just drink water from everywhere. He's like, yeah, you can drink water from the toilet if you want to. And it's like, I, I wonder if I put my kid in the toilet and then wash her while she poops, flush the toilet, do the whole thing. We can, we can knock all that out in one. Yeah. Right. I've never done that. I've never tried it. You know. Add a little soap in there because if it flushes, she won't go down there. Like, you know what right. I mean? Like, she won't. She won't. She's too. She's too big for that. But um, it's a baby whirlpool. Yeah, yeah. it's our little jacuzzi. Yeah, yeah she, she might look like a, it. Why look at me thinking. Warm up a little bit. Look at me thinking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, oh, Scott. He's back. Yeah, he's got he's back. Scott's back. Oh. Try again. <laughs> Try again. Yep. You might. You might have uh, like a new. Like, if you ever decide acting's not for you, you could have a new career. Yeah. Child toilet washing. Scott, yeah. are you there? Scott, so you and unmute. Sorry to chat with you guys. I'm back. Hello, Scott. 
Hey, how is everybody? Everyone's looking great, as always. Scott, <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, before you before you tried to get on, I I informed everyone that I hate you. Oh, uh, the love is flowing deep on this call. Yes, my audio is still broken, guys. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, Scott, how are you, my friend? I'm good. I'm good. I just got back from Chicago. Just visited the family. Went up to uh, Door County, Wisconsin. I saw a lot of corn. There was a uh, lot of sausage. A lot of sausage? Like, is that a metaphor or were you getting into some strange? <laughs> it was a metaphor. I didn't go to Wisconsin. I went to Fifth Street <laughs> downtown Skid Row. <laughs> uh, oh, but God, I was uh, stuck by that whole Southwest situation. I was stranded at the Denver airport all night. Wait, were you really? Yeah, because of that Southwest thing that happened uh, last two weekends ago. What happened? Yeah. I, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, it was like uh, they canceled 2,000 flights, and so I was trapped in Denver all night, airport jail. Wow. Wow. Did they did they say why they, they canceled those flights? Uh, first, it was weather. Then it was because pilots didn't want to get vaccinated. So it was like one thing didn't really add up to the other. So, uh... But I'm back in Los Angeles. I'm here with you guys now. Good. Yay. And Charlie, you just got back from uh, San Diego, I want to say. I did. Yep. Yeah, I just got back from seeing Jessica here getting married, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Is your husband not there? Like, are you guys done or what happened? <laughs> he's here. He's, okay. he's downstairs. He's okay. working. That's a quick, quick. In his uh... place. What do you got to do? Yeah. Um, uh, he's busy working. He's got a lot to do before November, so. Oh. Congratulations. What's, what's his name? Tell me about him. Uh, his name is Sam. Um, yeah. We met back in high school. He, oh. We both live here in San Diego. He works for Comic-Con out mm. here. Very cool. And uh, yeah, we have a son. His name's Luke. He's 10. Nice. Oh, oh congratulations. Uh, 10 years ago. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. It's been a lovely 10 years. So you guys did it the reverse biblical way. You guys, uh -huh. you guys <laughs> got knocked up and then you got married. Nice. <laughs> We met 20 years ago. I mean, we took, we really took our time yeah. to get here. <laughs> uh, sometimes when you know, you know, you know what I mean? Uh, Scott's, Scott's married. I am married. Uh, this is her. <laughs> She's <Rosie>. great. <laughs> Hi to Rosie, everyone. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm still on, the, I'm still on Tinder. I'm still playing the field and uh, the field doesn't play me i'm <laughs> okay it's okay it's serious catalog guys and that's it's got it's got it's got it's perfectly fine there's nothing out there man i've looked <laughs> i've searched there's nothing out there there isn't no no all, all the good folks are all married and locked up Scotty, yeah. it, it looks like you have like uh horns but they're like men's hands oh oh, oh no, geez, right. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had two pictures and i was like should i, I want to do this one but i thought is this too much and they were like no it's fine i was like oh, okay then. <laughs> let me see I if i like, can we'll keep it uh, you guys you guys uh i'm gonna google strong guys and then <laughs> well, for you, you the more like i thought that was absolutely perfect yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but, it's, it's looking good dude it's, yeah uh I, <laughs> <laughs> to, to extend another uh, introduction, though, Aaron and Scotty, Scott here is the guy from the, the horror comedy I was telling you about. Oh, so of we just uh, wrapped production, yes. so doing post-production ready. Aaron and Scotty here. These are the two I want you to talk to, Scott. Oh, nice to meet you guys. Yeah. Hello. Congrats, hey, Scott. Scotty. Thank you. Thank you. I, I feel like I've known you guys for 20 years. Just like uh, Jess's husband and <laughs> we're going to get married. <laughs> um, well, it's me and Charlie are the single one, so Ooh, <laughs> you can take your pick. <laughs> well, Scott's already had interview. a shot with me, so yeah. I was going to say, it's not an interview. Hell, hell, Scott was just in Chicago and didn't even tell me he was in Chicago until he was already back in L.A. So yeah. I, was, I was only in for like two days. I had to go to Door County, Wisconsin by Green Bay, and then I you know, had my sausage. Now I'm back in LA. Now I was trapped in Denver. So, what, was it a big sausage? It was pretty big. Like actually, TSA had to take it out of my suitcase. <laughs> yeah, and they had to like yeah. check it for drugs, and then they they, they gave me my sausage back. Lamar, you able to put it back in your suitcase? They put it back in my suitcase. 
Yeah. Tight, a tight they're fit. very nice. Um, yeah, it was. They were very hospitable. Yep. He's very, he's very big and he's very angry. Well, <laughs> since um, since we did ask, and Lauren does actually kind of have to be out of here. Rosalie. Oh my God, good choice in backgrounds, Lauren. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um, nice. Since Lamorne does have to get going relatively soon, we might as well go ahead and get started here. Yeah. Sorry, um, sorry. So, my my background with Lamorne is we're coming up on twenty years of friendship here. Yes. Um, I met Lamorne at College of DuPage in Glen Ellen, Illinois, doing theater back in the day, and we did a number of shows together. I've even had the privilege of not only stage managing him, but I've also acted on stage with him, and I've directed him once in a production of The Importance of Being Earnest. Yeah. So, yeah. About, I think it was my first professional play, I want to say. No. Oh, Earnest was still a uh, community theater. It was just out in Batavia. Okay, but that's still technically professional, though. I suppose so, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> but, yeah. So, but just been able to work with you many times, and it's always been an absolute pleasure. You are always a consummate professional, but you always, all, you always also know how to have fun too. So um, yeah. we've, we've partied many times as well too. Yeah. Yes, definitely. And when you say party, I don't want you to put it out there that I was out here doing a bunch of drugs like Scott Richards. Okay. No, no, no. That was no, not my Scott, scene. Scott's in the category all by himself. No yeah. question there. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't even, you know, it's interesting. I, w I remember all those parties that we would go to. I didn't have my first drink until I was 22. <laughs> and so I remember struggling. <laughs> at these parties like i want to i just want to drink so bad and i never did i never did no i I, I, will, I will vouch for you were always very good at all those you never you never succumbed like a lot of the other people did and just got absolutely hammered within 10 minutes of being there and yeah no you did not scott monty Oh. Start, start snitching. Yeah. <laughs> but that list could go. We go spend an hour on that list alone. And anyway. Hopper. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, but but back to your theater days. I mean, did you have a favorite role of what you got to do? What What was one of your favorite shows? What was one of your favorite parts that you got to play? Um. Yeah. Uh, I would. There were a couple. There were a couple that stood out for me. Um. Godspell. I want to say I got I got to I got to be in Godspell, the, the musical. For me, that was great because you know I, I like singing, I enjoy singing. I'm not very good at it. And I got I managed to get cast as a as a character um as John the Baptist and Judas, but he didn't have to sing that much, you know. So I got to perform and I got to say that I sang in a musical, but he had the the least amount of singing. And I, and I was very appreciative of that. Um, I, I'm going to actually respectfully disagree with you, sir. I remember the show. I, I didn't work the show, but I saw the show a couple times. You crushed it. Oh, you sang you, fantastic. The whole, <laughs> you had a phenomenal cast with you too. You guys mm -hmm. were absolutely genius on that show. And thank you. I might still have a copy of that around here somewhere, actually. Ooh. I would yeah. love to, I would love to get my hands on that if you have. I'll, I'll I'll check, but I'm pretty certain I might have a um an offsite backup of that laying around somewhere, uh, maybe unofficially, of course. Yeah. Ah, the yeah. the look on your face as yeah. it was like, like we were on Oprah or something, and then like a secret family member was going to pop out of a corner. <laughs> you were like, <laughs> I may have it. It's it's playing right now in the background. Yeah. Not that good, unfortunately, yeah. but um, I'll I'll take a look around. I think I might might know where something is for that. Yeah. And history of the devil, I um, history of the devil. I really enjoyed that that play as well, just because um, I forget the actor's name. Who got knocked out in in, in in like on stage for real. We had a scene where we were doing like a boxing match, and and he was supposed to swing, and he's supposed to duck. Tim Sand Tim something. Tim Sandow. Sandow punched Tim Sandow. a guy, and it's supposed to be a stage punch, but he actually hit him and wow. knocked him out. Oh. And we had to go black, and <laughs> it was just silent for a while because he didn't get up. And we thought, <laughs> oh, oh, he's not acting. He got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> and, and he was just laying there. And so we had to go black and pull him off stage. And then he opened up the next scene, the guy who got knocked out. And just in the nick of time, he came to and was like, what's going on? <laughs> like, what, what are we doing? Oh, let's, get back to, let's get back to work. Uh, so I, I really did enjoy um, that play as well. I mean, all the plays I enjoy just because everyone's so good. Yeah. Any, anytime I got a chance to work with creeps like Scott, um, <laughs> I, I'm going to stop making funny Scott. Scott is one of the funniest people that I ever get to 
that I that I've ever gotten to meet uh, and perform with. Um, and it's a very specific style of comedy that that never dies for me. It's always so. Thank funny. you very much. Appreciate it, yeah. and you as well, sir. Thank you, man. And then uh, you know, Mike Fadigato, you know, till till this day, he's one of my favorite actors of all time. And I and and I every every time I got a chance to perform with him, I it was just his preparation for me watching how serious he took it i was goofing off a lot i was you know looking for the bit looking for the comedy and stuff and mike was writing down beats notes you know he would always give me the same pep talk before every show he would grab my arm and go make it great (laughs) (laughs) it's like calm down mike calm down we're teenagers (laughs) um but yeah any every production there I, i i i absolutely adored i got it i got a chance to do one called true confessions of the wolf um i think that was my first lead role in a in a production and that was great because it was mostly improvised and we got to interact with the kids that were there It was a kid's play my nieces got got a chance to come and see me perform um i got to pick on them a little bit um so you know i i I had fun there Mm -hmm. cool nice Yeah. Um, so I got one quick question, then I got one story to give for, give you then. Um, so obviously you've been in LA and gone from Chicago for quite some time. So do you still consider yourself a Chicagoan or are you now a fully relocated Californian really? Chicagoan still. Okay. Chicagoan still. I, um, since the pandemic, I, I've, only gotten a chance to get back to Chicago once, but I used to come back two or three times a year. Um, and, you know, you, I've been in LA for a while now, so you would think that I'd be a, a Californian. I, I kind of I kind of stay put. I'm in one location most of the time, and that's yeah. at home. So I don't really do too much exploring. I haven't, you know, done the drive up and down the coast. I haven't, I haven't done that. I mean, I've traveled all through California, but like, you know, really getting getting the chance to embrace each and every particular part of it i have it you know california is known for a lot of things it's a it's a state where you can you can surf snowboard in the same day go mountain climbing hiking all those things i've done none of those and and with the the house you have um i stumbled across the people tv tour of your house and i shared it with our group we a couple of us watched it yesterday with the house you have don't blame you for saying oh that's for sure yeah amazing yeah uh, thank you thank you yeah. thank you yeah, so I, go ahead sorry yeah no no i was just gonna say i even prior to having this house i you know a bar here or there i might go hang out in go see a movie it's pretty much the same stuff i would do in chicago but chicago that's where most of my family is and nice yeah. yeah and we love seeing you anytime you are back in the area that's for sure yeah okay so story time um so about a year or so ago a couple of friends of mine for a christmas present gave me a video from cameo Mm -hmm. of the uh of the singing of uh of a happy birthday to me by jim cornelius and the chicago blackhawks Mm -hmm. anthem singer Mm -hmm. so i was going to go and show that to scotty as an idea for us to possibly use for other birthday presents in -hmm. the future for other people well jessica and i and scotty were on this call together and we're going to show it to Scotty and Scotty starts playing the video and she's looking at the video and she's like, wait, that's Justin Long, one of her favorite actors. <laughs> she's like, that's Justin Long. He said my name. Oh my God, Justin Long said my name. <laughs> so Jessica and I for uh, Scotty's birthday had gone in together, gotten a cameo video for her of Justin Long wishing her happy birthday. Oh, that's awesome. And, it was um, brilliant. It was brilliant. And what Jessica did was, as Scotty's watching this, Jessica is recording her reaction to it. Mm-hmm. And to say the least, it was rather an ugly cry. Um, <laughs> we embarrassed the hell out of her. Um, it's on. It's on our Facebook group. So. Oh my god! I could have saved. Check it money. out sometime. Yeah. So we did want to throw <laughs> the question at you: If by any chance you might be able to actually connect us up with Justin, because he was on New Girl at some time. I mean, uh, not right this second, but oh, if sometime down the road. Right now. <laughs> 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 um, I, 
was gonna say, I could have saved you the money. I would have just, I would have just asked Justin. He would have, he would have, he would have said, hey, I'll do it. It uh, went to a charity. It was for a good cause, oh, so, so it was worth it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but no, I, I, I could. Whatever you need. Whatever you want. If, if you could, we'd love it. That'd be fantastic. I'll, I could talk to you offline about this. Um, Scotty will probably and die. And Scotty's dying right now. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, that Scotty's done now. Um, but that, and then also on, the, on a side note, if there's anyone else you know, if you have fun with us, if you ever, if there's anyone mm-hmm. else you know who would love to do one of these, mm-hmm. we're always open to talk to anyone. We like to do these just for fun. So oh, right. ever I know, know anyone else would like to let me let us know if you would. So oh for sure. Oh, for sure. But, um, but yeah, I just uh, wanted to tell you that yeah. story. Thought you'd get a crazy. kick out of it. <laughs> Look, she's still blushing. Yeah. yeah. I'm so, having so, a she, she won't stop now. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Scotty is actually from Scotland, which is why her nickname is Scotty. Oh. Um, her, her real first name is Arlene. It's Pearl. So, oh. so, hey! So, hey, Arlene! <laughs> Arlene! She's so Arlene. bad. Open up the damn door. Give me some sugar. Arlene. I ran out of sugar. I don't want to kiss her. I'm just, I mean, actual sugar. Arlene. That's all I got, Bob. Arlene, your kids, your, your kids shitting in the hallway again. <laughs> what is there right now? <laughs> yeah, Lamont, I want to introduce you to Rin, this uh, one of yeah. Scotty's kids. Ah, uh, got it, mate. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm going through ritual humiliation. My child's having some too. Come on. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, it would be funny if the picture behind yeah, Scotty just question. attacks her. Yeah, I'm, I'm deflecting right now. And if I have to use my child as a shield, I will. Um, you can ask your own question now. Yes. You look good. You look beautiful. Good. You can do it. You can do it. Don't shrink. You, you interviewed Josh Bokey. Get up. You're okay. <laughs> you can do this. Go. Hi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, where is it? I lost it. Oh, right. Yeah. What was one of your favorite moments about working on New Girl? Um, probably um, quitting the show. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> My favorite moment was probably, it's hard. It's hard to say. Getting on the show was definitely something that I'll never forget. The audition process was crazy. I had maybe 15 auditions to get on that show and wow. which is unheard of yeah that's um that's that's ridiculous it's unheard of i don't I, I till this day i haven't i haven't found anyone that has rivaled that amount so so getting on the show getting that call that said i booked it to say the least was insane um every actor can tell you that's a dream for an actor and that was after years and years and years of grinding, sleeping in my car, doing whatever I had to do, it, 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 it definitely put me at peace, at ease, but also activated me to say, hey, man, I got to get to work. I got to start performing now. This is what I've been asking people to pay attention to. And then now here, the time has come. So I'd probably say, you know, getting on the show was my, was my favorite part. But then, you know, as you go on seven years on the show, you have a lot of cool moments, just getting to know the cast, the crew, the creatives, um, which we're all still close. You know what I mean? Still close with some of the execs, people who weren't even on set, uh, just people who you deal with on a day-to-day basis. P- the publicity team, the people you travel with to promote the show, you become super close. Um, their their families, their kids. Uh, it became like it became a second a second family um, to me. And uh, and we're still we're still very tight. So I'd say getting on the show and then getting to know everybody. That's amazing. <laughs> she's, she's, she's dying over there. Yeah. Bless her. She's doing performing arts at college, so I thought it'd be good for her just to talk. To oh really? Really? All right. You want to you you want to act? Oh. Very nice. Come on, Rin. <laughs> very very nice. <laughs> Laborn, if you didn't catch this, Rin is Scotty's daughter. Oh, there we go. So your mom, I'm not sure before you came on, your mom was explaining that uh, when you were a kid, she would walk in the room and you, uh, you, 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 you shit everywhere. Um, that, was not me. that was not me. Yeah, that was that's, what she, that, that's what she said. She said, Rin. The word was Rin. Was, I did I, not say I, Rin. I, 
I remember that name. Yeah, actually, that actually, actually Lamore, one, th- one thing we have not mentioned yet is actually how many kids Scotty does have. Oh, Scotty, how many, you got a whole tribe? Yeah, I, I give plenty of sugar. Let's put it that way. I've got eight. Oh, you got eight kids? <laughs> I've got eight kids. Oh. Any of them adopted? No, they're all mine. Yes. They all, they all, kind the of, old, the old got fashioned. Cut out. Yeah. Uh, they got yeah. Cut <laughs> they were big babies. Hotty <laughs> too hotty. <laughs> Did they all come out of you? Did you find some somewhere, like, and yeah. just take them? Or? They're all mine. They're all mine. <laughs> I've got the scars to prove it. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, eight kids. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. She's number four, the one you spoke to. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If one of them becomes a billionaire, you are set for life. It, I'm fine. Just I'm banking one. on her or her brother <laughs> that does music. So mm. oh it's, it should be a race. It should be a competition yeah. to see so who can, can take over the entertainment first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my money's I, on Ren. Yeah, I think so too. Think yeah, especially <laughs> when you, because when you when you start when you start at humble beginnings, you know, shitting everywhere as a kid, <laughs> and then getting getting to be, <laughs> you know, Sandra Bullock or something, then yeah, you know what I mean. We gotta respect the journey. You know when she's. I've seen like Sandra Bullock shitting all over the place on <laughs> uh, this full circle with that. <laughs> on Hollywood Boulevard, yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, that's what that smell was. Yeah. <laughs> the old bullock. The old Ooh. bullock. <laughs> I'm going to pull a bullock tonight. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm told. I'm done. <laughs> so, so, so eight kids, um, all in entertainment, or all want to be a part of entertainment, do you think? Just two. It's looking really shaking. Her head. Yeah, just two. It's about mm-hmm. two into you and Dylan into it. It's nobody else, really. I mean, I guess a doctor or something or a fire. I don't know. <laughs> just let them do what they want. Yeah, none hear. of that stuff is cool. Just be an actor. Be, in the, be, a, be a performer. Like, yeah, <laughs> like my oldest son, he came to me and he went, I really want to do music. And I went, okay, go do music then. Mm. Like, what, right. what else can you say? He was like, well, it's not really a normal career. I went, do you love it? He was like, yeah. Went, go do what you love then. Ah, go do That's what you love. That's the best way to do it. You got to do who you love, what you love. <laughs> that too, Ren. Do who you love. <laughs> See, when you're an actor, she hates you me. get all kinds of awards. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys this award that I got because I'm a classically trained actor <laughs> at College of Dreams. Um, I'm going to show you guys something. <laughs> see, you see what I mean? When you when you become highly skilled like me and the art of act acting um you get to win gold and this is real gold too that's real that's solid that's solid gold right there i won that um, that's a that's a life-size statue of kevin hart um i, I won his uh, christmas episode of his his celebrity game face that he has and i and i dominated it when you're an actor you get stuff like this okay that better have pride and place on the, on the mantle face there. Yeah, right there. Right. Oh, he pulled it down just for us, I'm sure. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> That's what you need to aspire to, babe. It's sitting right next know. to his Emmy for crying out loud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even gotta say anything. When like when ladies walk by, <laughs> I just go, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And then this. And then this. And then, yeah. that, and then that right there. <laughs> then Kevin comes out of the statue. Yeah. <laughs> little bird hatching. This oh, is yeah, not yeah, yeah, yeah. this is not an Emmy, Charlie. It's oh, okay. making me feel bad about it. Um, <laughs> I the Emmys, they don't respect real talent. They which they is keep, crap, I think. Yeah. They, they keep yeah. looking, they keep looking over me. Every year I'm always outside trying to get a ticket and they won't let me in. Um, <laughs> this I think is it's a, bullshit. It's it is. This is a French award called the Rose d'Or Award for comedy um, for, for our show, for Woke. If you haven't seen Woke, get it, go, go and check it out. We just wrapped season two. You know, it's, um, it's, it's, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good show. So actually, it's a really, really good. good show. It's a really good show. Oh, really thank good. you. 
you know you've made it and I think if it isn't you I've just really messed up but you know you've made it when you're made into a pop vinyl is that you at the back is this pop vinyl is that you at the back are you talking about this what? yeah yeah is that you <laughs> is it you is I can't see you yeah. Oh! Yeah. Oh, yes, mate. you've made it but here's my theory on this <laughs> My theory is that they they picked they made it they get they confused the two black dudes on New Girl and they made Damon Wayne's Jr. and then just said it was me because Damon Wayne's Jr.'s character on New Girl always wore hoodies. Right? Yes. He also had the goatee. I had a beard. I had a big beard for most of the second half of that show, maybe season four and on. And my character always wore bird shirts. And this, I knew that didn't look right. I was like, I was like, thank you, but what? No. <laughs> wrong person, wrong person. Wrong person. That is coach. They just, they just <laughs> said, need, oh, we messed up. Yeah. We need to get someone to paint that for you. So you got your little beard and like, change your top. I would really Sam. appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. Sam, sure. Sam can fix that. <laughs> he can. You can fix it. Can you? Heck, you can probably call the guys over at Funko and have them make a correct one. So. I know we tried. Um, <laughs> they they don't return our calls or emails or tweets or, <laughs> or anything. <laughs> a random stop by the office. They don't they don't they don't respect any of it. Yeah, but if Comic Con put the call in, maybe they not, might listen then. Mm -hmm. Oh, if they want to, if they want their prime boost spot back, mm -hmm. they better fix it. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Later, that that girl. Yeah, he was on our show. He's not happy. <laughs> <laughs> please make that happen for me otherwise i'm just embarrassed every time anyone who who every, every time someone sees it i feel i feel pressured to explain that that's not me and i get embarrassed after i do it so please i will add it to the husband to do list yeah thank you thank you're you. very welcome i'm sorry yeah. <laughs> for bringing that painful memory up but not well no it's okay <laughs> if, if if your husband can't do it <clears throat> maybe Maybe reconsider the marriage. <laughs> he, that means well, he has to do it now then. I guess yeah. he just has to do it now. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. If, he, if he can't get it done, he can't get it done. I mean, that's, you know, hey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he can get it done. <laughs> well, Jess, if, if he does have problems, have him talk to Jim. He could probably help pull in Jim's connections now. Uh, Lamorne, mm -hmm. Jim Cartwright? Yes has really moved up the chain with Fantasy Flight Games. Ooh. He's become a pretty big wig over there. He can use his influence with Fantasy Flight as well to lean uh, from that side too. Uh, so can you guys yeah. just put this together and and and, and save me? We, anyway. we we could probably pull in some we could pull a lot worse. I'm starting to realize I know some very influential people. Damn, this is getting pretty powerful. You friends with Barack? Oh shit. <laughs> I think I'm like the whole mountainous, Charlie. I'm, I'm like three. I'm like three steps of uh, segregation separation away. <laughs> well, you said it right the first time. Yeah, I just <laughs> I, I joke there actually. <laughs> yeah. Three steps of segregation away. Hmm. Um, My goodness, it's good timing though. Good timing. Yeah, perfect yeah. timing. Perfect timing. All right. Well, keep an eye on your mailbox around Christmas time. We'll see what we can do. Yeah. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. That means yeah. a lot. So, Scotty, uh, another question or two, or? You, are you still you're still too flummoxed actually uh, i'm toast okay I, I, i'm toast erin <laughs> you want to jump in i most certainly can <laughs> so uh with rin's crescent before with new girl it's i'm just changing my order a bit here um right. so you had to audition 15 times mm -hmm. so wow like yeah what what drew you to the role like the you just wanted to keep like keep pushing besides you want to get paid you want you want the job yeah, I want the job. I mean, let's be let's be honest. We do this for um, we do this for passion. We do this for you know. It's, we're just creative people. You know, no matter no matter what aspect of the business you're in, writing, directing, producing, stage managing, set design, props. We just love to create the creative space, but we also want to get paid. <laughs> you know, it's not a, like we're, we don't want to do it for free forever. So no. I thought, you know, this show would would, would absolutely change my life and. Uh, so you just you just fight for it. You you you. It, but even beyond that, it's it was so fulfilling. The show, um, the character was great. 
Um, and I auditioned for two characters. I actually auditioned for Coach originally. Um, ah. And uh, got offered Coach at one point, but I had to pass on it. And I came back and then auditioned 11 more times for Winston. And, uh, and, at, and at some point, you just, it just becomes a bit of a, it's like a mind game in a way where you're like, all right. I'm, I'm gonna come again and, and y'all gonna give me this damn show oh you want me to read again i see what you guys are trying to do you're trying to break me i know what mm -hmm. this is some sort of weird initiation um you know at some point i'm gonna have to suck no well i'm not well not gonna do that <laughs> but <it's, laughs> oh, hollywood yeah uh no. uh but uh, you know at some point it's like what are we doing here how many times do i gotta read for this damn show and uh and then you just, you have to psych yourself out and go, this is, and remember why you're doing it. I looked at every audition, like, like rehearsal, like prep, even if I didn't get the job, I could at least say that I have war wounds at least. <laughs> you can say, yeah, I mean, I once read for a show 15 times and didn't get it, you know? Um, and that would kind of toughen me up to this business. It's a very tough business. It's a lot of, it's more rejection than it is acceptance. Yeah. And so that even now if i don't book something i don't take it i don't take it to heart like i don't i don't take it hard anymore because i've been told no so many times you know what i mean from jobs that i was like jobs that i wanted more than new girl jobs that i like, obsessed over um studied oh, is there one that you can tell us the one that got away that you really wanted it was a few um coming to america too um I just love Eddie Murphy so much. <laughs> yes. Love Eddie Murphy so much. Um, never got a chance to meet him. And so when that opportunity came up, I, I was this close. I was this, this close. Um, but, but, it's, but it's, it's, it's cool because a friend of mine got it. And so I, 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 as long as I always, I look at it like this. If a friend of mine got it, it's fine. If yeah. it's some asshole, yeah. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you know. So I'd probably say that one was one, another, another Eddie Murphy movie, <laughs> Dolomite. I really, I really want, just because it was Eddie Murphy. Anytime it, Eddie Murphy's got a movie that's auditioning for, that I, I just, I become a fanatic about it. Maybe that's why I don't get him. And fun fact, yesterday, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, can I mention this? I can. I think I can. Yesterday, I just got offered. Um a part in the new Eddie Murphy movie. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. It's Eddie Murphy and Joe. Well Hill. done. And, uh, and yeah, so I was like, so it, the all auditions, was, that's what I mean. The, you know, I, I sometimes feel like there's a weird energy you put out there when you, when you obsess over something long enough and in one weird way, it'll, it'll, it'll happen. So uh, I got a chance to do, I'm, I'm getting a chance to do that. So that's incredible Yay. well I, done I, 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 i'm probably gonna retire afterwards <laughs> <laughs> literally a few scenes in the movie uh, but i'm like this one of them's with eddie so i go okay cool i'm done after this i don't need to do anything else with my life <laughs> oh my goodness mm -hmm. oh you're gonna have to play it cool there or are you just gonna go gonna go all fanboy when you see him i got I, listen i want to tell myself i'm gonna be cool about it but I, I've gotten a chance to work with some some of my heroes. I don't think I was ever cool about it. <laughs> so I think I think I think at some point throughout our interaction, I I told on myself and fanned out. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. But Eddie Eddie seems too cool though. That I meaning like, if I fan out, he's gonna have me fired from set. So I'm gonna try my best to play it cool until until I'm walking back to my car, then I'm going to stop and then I'm going to just yell out of the window with a boom box. <laughs> Tell him all John Cusack like that I have him. And That's kind of like me with Justin Long, to be fair. I feel you, bro. Yeah, that, really? um, yeah. We have a thing about, yeah, with Scotty. It's like, oh, can she get through an interview with that saying, I love you. <laughs> I should just put that in chat. I went, must not uh, tell him I have him. Must not tell him. Can you marry me, please? <laughs> That's awkward. That went bad really quickly. It's like, oh crap. Run away. <laughs> she, already, she already said I love you to David Howard Thornton. So and, yeah. And a cold will compact person. I'm really bad when I come to interviews. If yeah. I'm gonna put my foot in it, I'll do it. And I'll do it 
epically won't I just oh, oh it, 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 yeah yeah, it's watching do. a train wreck. You you just can't look away. Yeah. Stop talking. Stop talking. Oh, you've said it now. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's going to be one of those interviews where Scotty's going to make me host, so I can mute her. Yeah. I won't. I'm going to still let it happen. <laughs> you <an> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why would you do that? Yeah. Um, yeah I'm still trying. I'm still though. working on something for you right now, so I'm not looking at my phone for anything other than. Other than for you, Scotty. Do, don't don't do this to me because I'll just I'll just cry again and it'll just be stronger. Poor Scotty. <laughs> I'm having a meltdown. <laughs> I have to again. I'm going to tears. <laughs> I have to bring up game night. Mm-hmm. You were amazing in that. You were actually oh, one of my you. favorite characters in yes. that whole movie. I was, I was oh, like, thank oh, you. you were. <laughs> you do. You did the most hilarious well, to me and my husband. It was hilarious impersonation of Denzel. Oh my god, that was that was amazing. <laughs> we were just in stitches laughing. Oh my god. Do you god. have any other celeb impersonations in your repertoire? Ah, uh, you, you know. I, I, I never, I never call it like a repertoire. I just do it on, on, out of necessity sometimes. Yep. Like I never yeah. knew I had a, I could do Denzel until someone asked me to do it, and then I worked on it a little bit, and then I got it. Um, Chris Rock sometimes. Um, there's a lot of sports people that I like. There's a guy named Stephen A. Smith who I, I, I think he's so animated and funny, and Shannon Sharp, former football player sportscaster there's some people you know i used to i used to do an eddie murphy impression i can't do that anymore um but yeah every once in a while i can i can pull it out i'm not gonna do it now i know what you're trying to do (laughs) innocent i swear i'm innocent (laughs) you're not you're not not. sinner she's not she bad girl she bad girl (laughs) did you ever hear denzel's reaction (laughs) to your impression of him no i wish okay I was, you know, I, I, so we, when we, ha- we had a screening for the movie at, at, a, at the agency and they invited like a lot of their, a, the agent, like the client. So Will Ferrell came and, and, and it's a small, it's a small room. And again, I don't know how to contain myself in moments like this. <laughs> I don't care how many projects I do. I'm still going to always be this way. Cause I don't, yeah. I don't, you know, I was, I, I just, I like being on the outside and, looking at Hollywood is like another thing. And I just dip my foot in to, to get a job every once in a while that I come right back out to reality, but I'm looking in and, I, and we're in this theater and then Will Ferrell comes in and Jamie Foxx and uh, like Ed Helms and all these people just come walking in this room to watch game night in a small theater. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> and Will Ferrell sits right next to me. And, <gasps> and, I, and the director made a comment. He was like, we invited Denzel to, and I, and I was like, and I'm seeing Will Ferrell. So I'm thinking in Ed Helms, I'm like, of course, Denzel's going to be here. Jamie Foxx is here. I was like, why wouldn't Denzel, why wouldn't Denzel be here? And uh, he did not show up, but, <laughs> but my heart was like this most of the movie. One, because <laughs> I'm sitting next to Will Ferrell, but two, because I think Denzel's going to walk in any minute and see this horrible impression of him. <laughs> it wasn't horrible it was awesome <laughs> <laughs> oh okay all right all right and okay <laughs> that's mm. awesome <laughs> yeah yeah yep. so, yeah and so i wanted to make it but he was like uh, he had to take a hospital ho- hostage for not <laughs> being <nervous> <laughs> so otherwise he would have totally been there i'm gonna bury my son <laughs> like we know Denzel he's not sick <laughs> oh, oh that's funny that's that's the lengths at which strong actors like that would go th- go to just to get the character right <laughs> so, I take, so I take a hospital hostage huh? okay how about I do it in real life huh? <laughs> there will be blanks in the gun sucker huh? well, that's too soon Oh. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> oof, oof. I, I only saw that on the news uh last night. 
here in Australia. I'm like, holy shit, that's that is so scary. It's very scary because whenever you have a gun on set, there's so many safety checks. There's so many, there's there are police officers there, they're weapons experts, they're showing the entire crew, hey, this is the gun. You know, this is this is the chamber, the barrel. There's nothing in it, or there is something in it. They'll do a test shot. It's a blank. Here's the box of blanks. Could you walk throughs? And to hear that that happened, it's like, what year are we in? Like, how how would you like? You know, I'm directing a movie in the top of the year, and there's a scene with a gun in it, and like I'm having an anxiety about it. You know, I'm like. <laughs> You know, it's not a high budget film. So I, you know, <laughs> yeah. that's gotta be one of the things that we're gonna put some money towards is a realistic fake gun. Yeah. It has no firing capabilities whatsoever. <laughs> we will fix it in post. Yeah. Um, yeah, really, yeah. Yeah, that that's very scary. I really feel for like Alec Baldwin and um Michael Massey and how he was the one that was responsible. Well not, but he was yeah. the one that fired the gun on the set of the crow. And it's just like, oh, because I remember that back in ninety four was it? Three with Brandon with Brandon Lee. Ninety three, yeah, yeah ninety three. So I remember that and it was quite like tragic anyway, but the fact that it's happened again, it's like, oh God, yeah. my, that's really awful. It's heartbreaking. Yeah, it truly is, man. That is that's that's why I never want to do a movie with Scott. I know he, he <laughs> only uses real weapons. <laughs> this guy. And that's why they don't let Scott handle the weapons either. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's why I shoot myself. <laughs> Scott's like I am a weapon. <laughs> I am a weapon. <laughs> his arms are licensed. That's right. <laughs> that's his gun show, right? Here. With. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Jessica hasn't even met him, and she already understands Scott completely. Yeah. <laughs> is sausage his weapon? Oh, that's <laughs> right. Yeah. So, oh, whoa. beat you with a giant sausage. I should have taken that away because it is coming out tonight. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> can we see it? Can, can we see it? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Next time. You already got eight. You already <laughs> got eight kids. <laughs> Scott, to hand you your ninth. <laughs> Scott, you don't have to go when this is finished, you know. We hang around for a bit. <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> okay, just for oh, point boy. of clarification, Scotty did have a procedure earlier. She is, like, really drugged up at the moment, so. <laughs> um, really? Yes. Yeah. She's medically not permitted to actually make any legal decisions or drive a vehicle for another 12 hours at least, so yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> But then again, this really isn't actually different from how she normally is either, too. So, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's not. It's That's true. not. It's true. <laughs> uh, hey. Jess, you had a couple of questions. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll end it off with a couple questions. Yeah. So my first question uh, was, because you were the president of your men's choir in high school, so you have some singing ability. Did you and your co-star Zoe ever belt it out on the set? I gotta say we did. We did. Nice. Often. We Often? Yeah, it was a we it was like a little bit we would do. Just, you know, sing a little bit. Zoe loves singing. Zoe, um, she well, obviously for obvious reasons she's great at it. She's a professional. Yeah. She got albums and awards and all this stuff, but um, she was a president of her men's choir in high school. She was not president of her men's choir in high school, and a reminder of that every day. As you um, should. Yes. You know, we can be a winner in most things, but not everything. <laughs> not everything. And I, for one, am. Shout out to the men's choir at Glenbart South High School, <laughs> 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 holding it down. Um, uh, yeah, no, but we had fun on set. It was all it's just, but silly stuff. You know what I mean? Even on the show, even on the show, sometimes um, you would see moments where my character would sing a little bit mm -hmm. here and there. Um, yeah. Yeah. And it was always just silly, you know, kind of ridiculous things. <laughs> I put out a comedy album too, which is also a very disturbing album um, called The La Morning After Pill. <laughs> so don't go listen to it. I'm going to go listen to it. Yeah, we're going to go listen to it. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Uh, exactly what we're doing <laughs> yeah so you know but you know it's a 
it's it's in it's in my bag. It's in my wheelhouse of things I like to have fun with. Love karaoke. So yes. what's your what's your go-to karaoke song? Unchained cool. Melody. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Oh. You gotta have some big cojones to do that one. <laughs> medium, medium. Back back in the COD days, this is a life size. Karaoke night was a <laughs> thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man, you you and when Quinn was hosting it, oh, Quinn and gosh. Andy. Oh God, yes. Oh Quinn. Mm-hmm. Mr. Bayola. Yep. Get, get uh, that short round Asian hosting karaoke. Oh God, yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got, so, man, I got to do karaoke again. So, Lamorne, I don't know if you've actually gone and looked at any of our interviews or whatnot. Um, one of our favorites, we've interviewed Chrissy. Really? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. She was a blast. Um, by Wait, the way, quick. I didn't get just to tell you ladies this yet, actually. Um, Chrissy is with a new cover band. I'm probably going to be seeing her live this coming Thursday. Oh. So I'm hoping, hoping to be able to actually try and live stream a little bit of this to you guys. I'll let you know for sure. Yay. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, so, um, but no, I just, so yeah, we, COD group, we used to get together, was that Thursday nights at Sal's or was that Wednesday nights at Sal's? Uh, I don't remember. It was Tuesday that I went to Friday Thursday. They went back and forth. Yeah, it kept changing. Yeah. But yeah, no, a lot of us, I mean, you were talking what, 15, 20, 30 people sometimes. <laughs> we just descended on this one bar and it was insane karaoke nights and nearly everybody was damn near professional singers so when you had those karaoke nights so. that means a yeah. lot charlie thank you for saying so <clears throat> yeah, i said it before about godspell i'll say it again absolutely man no question if anyone knows to talent it's you so uh, and i want everyone in this room to respect it i am a professional yeah. singer okay so <laughs> damn it <laughs> you may not be professional but you're talented there's a difference there yes all right now you just knocked me down a peg stop <laughs> no worries <laughs> That's not how we talk to the president of the men's choir. Charlie. President Charlie. Yeah. Not a president. member. I'm also the president. Um, sir, Scotty, yes, are you asking questions in the, the group chat? Yeah, someone sent me a message saying, uh, was Ferguson a real cat, do you know? Uh, Ferguson's a real cat. Um, I did not know the cat personally. We didn't go <laughs> way back. We never shared a bowl of milk or anything like that. Um, no, but I will say this about Ferguson. Ferguson was a real asshole. That cat was a real piece of shit. <laughs> that, cat, that cat was an arrogant prick. <laughs> Aren't most cats assholes? Like, isn't that kind yeah. of the part of the resume? Uh, I am yeah, it's, especially now combine it with the fact that it's a damn TV star. <laughs> yeah. You know, such a privileged cat. You know, the cat would work when he wanted to. If he yawned, Six people would come out. No, he's tired. He's got to go now. And would like swoop him away, take him to his trailer, which was the same size as mine. And I was like, what? Don't he got a crate or something? He's like, I don't know. I don't know. He's on him. He got a bathroom. He got a, a was there like a Ferguson stand in? Yes. <laughs> we have a Ferguson stand in. We, oh. we had one other cat, and then we had like a real cat that wasn't as charismatic. And then we had, um, <laughs> A doll just like this doll that looked exactly like ferguson that they had made because ferguson also wouldn't cooperate with anything you wanted him to do so there are moments where the days would take so much longer because we're trying to get a shot we're trying to match my performance with also what the cat's doing in the background or something so it's like i'm doing it over and over again and then ferguson is just like licking his butt or whatever like cats do and you're just like well, what are you doing ferguson and so what they would do is I'd be walking with a cat and in order to get my performance and not have him scratching me, they would put the fake cat right here and then get my performance and then do a last take with the actual cat. And if we got it, we got it. If we didn't, we didn't. At least we got the performance, you know? Um, so we had to have the stand in. Otherwise we'd still be filming right now. <laughs> you know, if his oh. career's taken off or. Yeah. He's also on shameless. Really? Yeah. Oh, Ren's about to die off. She's like, what cat's that? She's trying to think. <laughs> also on Shameless. Um, no, Ren, I'm not holding a grudge over this cat, okay? I'm just saying <laughs> the damn cat did what the cat wanted to do, and, 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 and you couldn't tell him shit. And I think that's a problem on set, okay? We all got to respect each other as actors. Everyone's, every, everyone respect each other's processes 
in their space. But this cat <laughs> didn't respect anything. He's a cat. Yeah. I think that's fair. fair. And I, I told myself, it's... I told myself I wasn't going to ever work with a cat again. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to work with a cat again. I'm not going to do it, right? Then I get asked to do this show uh, on Fox uh, called Call Me Cat. And I, yeah. and I didn't pay attention. To, I read the script, but I wasn't really like diving into like the stage directions and what was happening. <laughs> I just knew it was, you know, was, uh, my, my and Bialik. It was Kyla Pratt. I was like, it was Leslie Jordan. I said, okay, yeah, I'm going to do this. I would have got a freaking awesome. cat cafe. <laughs> and then I get there and I was like, oh, oh, I mean, it was cats everywhere. It was cats. <laughs> there, were cat, there were cats all over the damn place. And I was like, no. <laughs> fun show. Very fun show. <laughs> funny show. I think those performers, they, they do a great job. The fact that Mayim <laughs> knows the names of all of these cats individually blew my mind. Like, she's brilliant when i say brilliant i mean every episode of, of that show was like a damn showcase like she's dancing singing performing i was like i can't do that <laughs> it's like that i gotta oh my god and you gotta do it every single week like she man she's incredible i think she just hosted jeopardy too didn't she yeah she yep. just did jeopardy she's got yeah. the brain to do it and it just got announced she got re-upped for season two for uh call me cat yep Ooh. yeah they're filming right now yeah. More cats. Yeah. All More cats. cats. More <laughs> cats. Yeah. I'm guessing all you were first in line to go see cats when it came out in the movie the movie theaters. I'm not gonna lie to you. I I, <laughs> I refuse to even watch the trailer. It's bad. It's terrifying. It's a fever dream. <laughs> yeah, I I I mean when I saw Idris Elba walking around with a tail <laughs> in a little cat body, I said, All right, enough. Enough. I get it. We love cats, but not like this. <laughs> <laughs> this is not how we love cats. Not like this, guys. What do we do? <laughs> I actually saw the milk bar like before it went in. I shouldn't, I don't know if I should say this now. Like, I'm not great. gonna say names, so it doesn't matter. It's fine. Um, I actually saw like the milk bar set because my friend actually built it. Oh um, wow. So wow. he was a carpenter on it and he did all oh no, I've may have given away too much away now. Doesn't matter, wow. but anyway. Let's look up Nobody sees this. It's fine. No one's going to see it. It's fine. Um, <laughs> it's fine. I'll just bleep you out. You're fine. Yeah, we'll bleep. Yeah, so you sent me that. Bar. It was awesome. But... Milk bar. Yeah, Milk carpenter. Bar. <laughs> no Are you checking IMDb? <laughs> no, because like, my face can't lie. If you say his name, I'll be like, shit. And I'll have to just leave. The cat <laughs> carpenter. I Google carpenter on cats and then... <laughs> The catcarpenter.com comes up. <laughs> I don't yeah, think I'm this is a, your guy. The dating site for cat carpenters. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not going to send that. <laughs> hey, Scott, a new place for you to get dates. There you go. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Crash all over. <laughs> oh, I mean, we just spent some time talking of cats, you know? Of course, why wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, I want to know who this person was now. <laughs> I'll private message you. Um, there you go. I can't get him in trouble. It was like Paco, um, <laughs> Michael. It was Michael. No. It was Tallulah Hassenpfeffer. Oh, I love Tallulah Hassenpfeffer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's my yeah. go-to bogus name. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you give out at Starbucks when you it order your coffee? Yep. <laughs> no, it was. No, it was. There you go. <laughs> yeah. God, he wasn't. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm very familiar with. Good morning. I'm gonna go I, saw it on, I saw it on. I saw it on IMDb first. <laughs> well, that's I'll do that some is constructive that. bleeping. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, deep, deep he's, he's done. He's done some really good sets. <laughs> if it's on IMDb, we're fine. Don't worry. Yeah, everybody. Knows that's true. It. That's true. If it's, if it's public knowledge, we're fine. Don't worry. Yeah, but yeah. I've seen it way before. Tarzan. Oh my God! Justice League, Star Wars, Wonder yeah. Woman. Oh damn! I've seen some good stuff. That's impressive really resume, yeah. Yes. Oh, he's done some adult films too. That's interesting. <laughs> his other work with cats. Oh yeah. <laughs> they call it something else in his films. <laughs> Different kind of cat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you guys. Different two line term, yes. <laughs> you guys are perverts. Hi. Do you know me? How long are you just realizing this? Come on. <laughs> uh, that was yeah. that was direct one to you, but I want to make that to everybody. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's see. 
I appreciate I it. I think we're kind of killing Erin at the moment here. She's ready to pass out from laughter. <laughs> oh, poor Erin. A, a lot of our conversations end up with Erin almost passing out from laughter. So this is actually rather common. Aww, fact. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we make her laugh. It's rather like often. who can make Erin lose it? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. We've had a hoot, and we've not yeah. done all our questions as usual. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. We yeah. had another twenty questions, but we don't want to take up more of your time. We know you yeah. got to get going, so I got to get going. Yeah, but um, but let's do this again. And Charlie, talk to me. Oh, we would love it. Well, um, yeah, absolutely. You know I'll touch base. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I, like anyone you can think of who might be interested, we'll, we're always looking for more people to chat with. Um, we've, we've talked with bands, internet personalities, actors, actresses, anyone who would look to talk about future plans and whatnot. What do you have coming up as a, as a kind of a, as a going out? What do you have coming up that you want to plug? Woke season two. Coming Woke out when, season, where, coming out, top of Coming out top of the year, coming out in January um, on Hulu. Um, and prior to, I have some other stuff coming out too, but I, I, I don't want to say it just cause I don't have the specific dates that are coming Fair out enough. earlier than that. Um, but woke season two, that's, that's my baby right there. So okay. that's what we're going to say. You're coming out. I'm coming out. I'm also coming out guys. <laughs> um, Scott and I have an announcement. That's right. <laughs> After woke season two. <laughs> they adopted a cat. We adopted a cat together. <laughs> Woke Black Mountain. Um, Again. Woke Black. Woke Black Mountain. Mm. Mm-hmm. And Aaron is dead. There we go. <laughs> uh, the Morn and Scott sitting yeah. in a tree. <laughs> Fuck him. No. <laughs> anyway, um, Lamorne, my friend. As oh it, man it's been forever but thank you again for doing this it's been oh, a pleasure thank you <laughs> thank you all i really yep. appreciate this congrats and keep it up and then i'll uh we'll talk soon definitely Absolutely. Right, thank I'll you much take it easy. i hate thank you, you. Right, have a great one man talk to you later nice to meet you all right bye-bye bye, bye. bye.